everyone I have an unboxing for you today and it is clay related so I bet the bullet and I bought a clay extruder because it would have came in handy for a few different projects now so I went on Amazon and I found a an extruder and I needed the star shape um, so I did find one on Amazon it's by a company called Auka, Auka, Auka. I don't know. It's A O U K E. That's that's all I know. And it was ten ninety nine. So I'm going to unbox that, and we are going to see if that was any good. And it was Amazon Prime, so I did get it within two days. Oop, there it is. Oop, there it is. Okay, that's all. So here's what the extruder looks like in the package. Oh, and there's little 20 piece shapes there. And that's what it said. It said one piece clay gun and 20 piece stainless steel attachments. So an extruder is basically you put the clay inside of this thing. Oh, they just come right out over. Okay. And then you push it through. And when you push it through, it pulls out like a, or you push through a snake in one of these shapes. And then, let me see if I can get this off there. So you can make little thin, thin stringy pieces of clay like these. And this is the shapes that it came with. I wonder why that one's all darkened. I know. I've never owned a clay extruder before, so this is going to be interesting. And I want to see if it came with... Oh, it did come with instructions. It says, craft gun reassembly. Position the four plates as per drawing. There's the drawing. Push spring plates under the plate. Push, push the piston back through the bead plates. Okay, step one, unscrew the bottom cap. Insert changeable disc. All right, let's see if we can figure this out, y'all. Unscrew the bottom cap. And I do have some white clay here that we're going to try. And it's conditioned, yeah. Okay, here's these little pieces here. We have the little stringy round one. Then bigger holes then this this doodad I don't know what the difference in these are one's probably just slightly bigger than the other okay got the single hole bunch of little skitty holes oh look that one's a little tiny one isn't it cute Okay, got a square, hexagon, triangle guy, teardrop, another bigger hexagon, what is this one, half a circle, a rectangle, another one of those doodads, mm. and you got three holes, long rectangle this is the one I really wanted the star I am making an American flag pen for someone right now so I wanted the star one because stars are very hard to sculpt by hand and keep the you know the nice pointiness so that's why I got the unscrew bottom cap okay so this looks like the bottom cap. And screw this baby. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the the pushy part. What does this do? I don't know what that does. Okay, unscrew the bottom cap. Insert changeable disc before attaching the cap. Okay. So, oh, I put the disc in here probably. Okay, set that in there. Now we're going to screw it back on. Okay. 
I wonder if that's supposed to be centered. It's not very steady in there. Okay. Load soft clay from the bottom of the barrel. Oh, this part untwists too. Oh. All right. Does it really say how much to put in there? I'm just going to put a little bit of this just in case. Just in case all goes terribly wrong. And this is just white Primo. Nice and conditioned. I'm going to roll it out into like a thin kind of snake there. All right. I'll roll it out a little bit then, I guess. Thinner. Even thinner. Listen. Listen, Linda. Okay. Now I'm worried that's too thin. Mm. Alright, let's try that. Yeah, it'll be alright. Okay, and then it says close the bottom cap. All right. Mm. How did this go on here? I broke it. Oh, this goes on here. No, it doesn't. Oh gosh, I already broke it. Oh, does it go this way? Oh. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Okay, so then that's all it says to do. Okay, so I really don't know what the purpose of this being there is. Does this push it down? I don't know what that does. So I'm just going to push right here. And nothing's happening. Oh, okay, so you push this down until you feel like the force, and then we're going to squeeze this red thing. Now it's coming out. You see that? Let me try to back up my light here. It's working! This is fun. I could do this all day. Oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Okay, now let's try to cut it. Oh wow, look at that. A perfect star. And then we can cut this into slices. Hopefully. Aww. Ooh, my clay is a little too soft. That's exactly what I needed to happen. That's perfect. So I'm not going to try all the other attachments, and, but you guys will see in my videos more of me using this extruder, so I will keep you guys updated, and if there's anything interesting about any of the other attachments, I will let you know, because uh, i got to learn how to clean this thing too. It's still coming out. So food for thought, you only need a little bit in there. <laughs> well, I guess depending on whatever you're making. I only needed a few stars, so... I'm going to be doing this for a while. And I'm sure you just take it apart to clean it. Same way you put it together. Perfect stars. Wonderful. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching this unboxing of this clay extruder. I will leave the links in the description of this exact one, 
and I will keep you guys updated on you know if it breaks anything interesting happens so stay tuned but for now thanks for watching guys I hope you guys have a wonderful day